Clear out the other guy. I don't know why they brought him. Just park it there for now. Got a uh, six eighty duels, seventy extension, seventy duels. Got a big Lexinos. Kitty cat. Cool, cool, cool. A big kitty cat. This looks so good every time I don't play on it. Always looks good. Never did it for this. You know what it looks like inside? Inside of the... Horsepower rating in that place is anyone. I think it's a five or six hundred. I'm not really sure to be honest. Um, I think 680, 670 with a different hopper. You know, 670 with First, uh, test out the sculptor. Talk about this cultivator a little bit. It is a Kuhn Krauss 5635, um, 50 foot working width. Um, built it quite some time ago now. Um, I actually like the design of this. It's very simple, except the lowering. The lowering arms are kind of goofy, but. Everything bolts together like every other manufacturer. 
this rear hitch actually made a lot of sense to me, like how they designed it. And it's just kind of um, a really solid bit. Kind of goofy little arm. I don't know if they have patents so they can only design it one way or another. Oh, I didn't even. Anyways, this one's a little bit different. A little bit different hitch design. Um, this little thing goes in and out. I didn't put in as much detail as I could have. Um, again, this is a pretty simple design. I like how this, these extra wings are really um, reinforced with this triangle kind of geometry. The uh, hydraulic cylinder attachments were always kind of... I always imagined they would need a little bit more metal with the kind of forces up there. Dealing with... There we go. Anyways, we're off with the giant R T. Quite a bit of detail into this great planes. See if you can even tell in the springs and washers and screws. I like the slow offset folding. See what I mean? The arms are kind of goofy looking.
the different size This is a 370 horsepower tractor. What we'll do is we'll unfold it here. Back it up a little bit. We'll move our mouse control tongue down. Engage the power.
so I like the 1770 planter design a little bit better for the little ones just because the DB frame, the DB bar is kind of ugly. That this big one, you guys seen videos of this. This thing is just ginormous. I'll just unfold it here. I haven't finished, I just haven't exported it on Blender. Um, but I can cover some serious ground with this. So it's always fun to play with. Especially when it's an actual authentic model, not some kind of hodgepodge thing people PCR these days. I guess the only other thing I have left to demo is combat, so I have to grow some props or something to do that. Anyways, thanks for watching.